hello dears. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we are at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the place that Jesus was crucified, died, resurrected. We've already been in the tomb of Jesus, which is not so obvious. Uh, usually, uh, I like to go into that place, but let's start to talk about how it is, how it looks like. I mean, we are talking about the most important site for the Christians in the world. It doesn't look like it, isn't it? In 1808, the church was burned down, this time not by the enemy of the Christians, this time by the Christians themselves. And um, it used to be a chapel that owned by the Syrianic church. We do have a family from Syria, where are you? And I know that there are more, say hi, here they are. Um, when they came back to their chapel, the Armenian told them, it's not yours anymore. They're still fighting who owns the chapel. Until they figure out who owns the chapel, no one will maintain it. But we didn't enter because of it. Actually, we entered this time because of it. But it's not the main story here. If you will let me go in there, what you're going to see is a tomb, a Jewish tomb from the time of Jesus. We already saw a tomb like that at Mount of Olives, remember? But this time you can see the cave. The only thing that is missing here is the rolling stone. If you want to go in, you will see some uh, niches in it. And before that, the table. The, remember, the Jews used to be buried just like Jesus was buried. They purified his body. They put a shroud around him and straight into the ground. No casket, no coffin. Then, if that is a tomb from first century, and we already been in the tomb of Jesus that doesn't look like a tomb from the first century. Remember, it's been destroyed so many times. Then who owns that? The book tells us that Joseph of Arimathea gave Jesus his own tomb. Remember? Then it's his own property. I'm sure that he built himself another tomb next to his master. Then I believe that this is the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea. But more than that, it tells us that that place used to be a cemetery. Then we ask ourselves, how can it be that Jesus was crucified, uh, sorry, buried inside the city? Here it is. It's a private property. Uh, it's owned by Joseph of Arimathea. Then that might be the answer. If you want to go in, if you are brave, you need to use the flashlight and you will see it. But believe me, it looks the same as the one that you saw. I will wait for you outside because it's a little bit humid here, uh, a little bit stinky. Still, it's important for me at all. Uh, my ceramic friends, you must go in. <laughs> and do you have, do you have a lighter? Is there someone who's got a lighter here? No one smoke? Good. <laughs> Good, and in that case, we will do it in a different place. I want them to light the candles. Then uh, I'm waiting for you outside. It's the end of July, July 30, uh, 31, actually, uh, uh, 2018, Jerusalem, Israel. 